today we are going to walk over the final assignment for the course on Coursera called Machine Learning for Product Managers. We're going to build a model to predict the electrical energy output for a combined cycle power plant which uses a combination of gas turbines, steam turbines, and heat recovery steam generators to generate power. Let's quickly take a look at our data set. Our data set does not have any null values and here we see the statistical description of each of the variables in the data set. We also see that each of these uh, values for the columns are float data type. Now, given that, we need to decide what kind of machine learning algorithm to use. Because our data set con contains numerical values, uh, which are like sensor readings and power energy output, we we cannot use cl classification because this is not a classification problem. So we, we are going to use regression for our modeling purpose. What we're going to do now going forward is uh, attempt to fit models such as linear regression, ridge regression, lasso regression, and polynomial uh, regression with and without k-fold validation and assess which of these models fit best to our data set. As you see below, there is a strong correlation between each of these input variables and the output variables. And because of that, we will use all the variables for our um, evaluation purposes. The metric that we're going to use is mean square error metric. As you will see in the next slides is that because the, there aren't too many outliers in the data for each of these values. So let's move on to the next uh, slide. Here is a um, pair grid of all the variables with each other. And like I said, we do not see too many outliers the next step that we have to do is split our data set. We are, because our data set is kind of small, we will use a 10% uh, to 90% split, meaning we're gonna use 90% of our data for training and 10% for um, testing. All right, so let's prepare our uh, data set. So we loaded the data into a data set called full underscore DF. Now we will split this full underscore df into the feature and the label data set. And then we are going to split the data set into train uh, and test features and train labels and test labels. Here you see we are splitting it, um, the test size as uh, 10%. Now let's look at what uh, linear regression yields as MSC for our training. So linear regression yields an MSC of 20.992, blah, blah, blah. Um, so we'll keep this in mind and move on to training using different models. The next model that we will evaluate is linear regression with k-fold validation. So in this, we will be using a validation set within our training set and have n splits for the k-fold. So doing that, we see that the MSC is still very close to what we saw in the linear regression. Let's try ridge regression uh, model and examine the MSC. So with ridge regression, what we see is that the MSC is slightly lower than what we saw in the previous two cases. Now let's try ridge regression with k-fold validation. This seems to be yielding uh, a similar uh, MSC that we saw in the previous cases. Both the regular re linear regression and the ridge regressions with and without k-fold are somewhat in the same ballpark in terms of their uh, mean square error. Let's try lasso regression. With lasso regression, we observe, again, a similar MSC. Let's try polynomial regression. I did some trial and error, and I found out that degree 8 yields the least MSC. So we've tried to build a regression model uh, with degree 8 with using polynomial regression. And this is the MSC, 14.3591. This is the best MSE that we've seen thus far. And I'll show you the way in which 
I came to understanding that using degree eight for polynomial regression is what yields the best MSC value. So let's go to the next slide. So I went through each degree between one and nine and evaluated the MSCs. So here are the different MSCs that we get as we increase the degree of the polynomial. And if you see that the MSC keeps going down up until degree eight, and then it starts heading back up. So we used polynomial degree eight for, for our polynomial regression. One thing you might observe is that the MSC polynomial regression without k-fold is yielding a much lower MSC value compared to using k-fold. We can play around with hyperparameters of how large our test and train set has to be or how large our um, k-fold uh, set has to be. As such, this is a good indication that degree eight polynomial is uh, regression is the best uh, regression of all the models we've seen thus far. Here's a plot of the graph for evaluation that we did in the previous slide. And if you see, it is going down, down, down. And then uh, after eight, it's heading back up. That's uh, about it. So here I've printed out all the values that we've uh, observed so far. And because the polynomial regression of eight degree has the lowest MSC, we will be using that model for our prediction. Thank you for listening to my assignment and um, bye.